Impressions of Saratoga and today we're going to give you a little tour and point out some fun holiday gifts that we have. So let's get started. So one of the first things I wanted to point out is that we carry ornaments year round. We always have a Saratoga ornament section and then of course we've expanded for this time of year to have our holiday ornaments as well. And one of my favorites is every year for the past five years we've done a limited edition cloisonne ornament which are, um, it's a Chinese tradition and all of these are handmade and are dated 2021 and each one features something special about Saratoga. This year's is the Spa State Park. So we have those and again once those are gone they're gone because they're limited edition. And then of course all of our horse and Saratoga ornaments they're very popular year-round and we do have a section of Made in America and these guys are made right here in Saratoga these two wooden ones. This game here, this is our racing game. It's made in America. A husband and wife designed this game. And it's really a great heirloom piece. So that's just a fun, unique game. Definitely Saratoga. And it's been very, very popular this year. We always carry all of our Saratoga shirts, our hats, our souvenir items like that. We do carry them year round and those make a great gift and also are something fun to send people who might only come here in the summer. And then another fun gift that we started carrying this year because socks are so popular. These are actually socks that come inside of a beer can. So you could use the can afterward for like a little bank or to store something in, but they all have a sock that matches the theme on the outside. So this one's caddy. So of course inside you're gonna have golf socks. And those are a fun dad gift or, you know, if you've got someone, a uh, college kid, you know, they always like things like this. Of course, everyone's looking for comfy cozy and these little fuzzy feet have been a big hit. Great stocking stuffer, super soft. We've got horses, we've got horses some cows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's their design that they call I don't do mornings. Uh, last year, these were very popular because of the Bernie Sanders memes that were mm. everywhere. But these are actually made locally by a woman named Teresa Fingerhut. She's been making them for years and she uses wool sweaters and hand makes all of them. So briar horses are always a hot commodity for the holiday. This year, it's been very hard to get briar horses. We actually started purchasing from briar in Canada as well. So we could get in product that we weren't able to get. So the one that just came out, you know, a few days ago is red velvet, but then of course their whole holiday section as well with their Arctic grandeur. And they even this year did little holiday craft kits. So you make your own ornaments. Oh, nice. there's an advent calendar yes. too. Yep. So that's a crafting one as well. Oh, wow. So it's an advent calendar where you get an, um, an ornament per week to make. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, so those are really cute and something that, you know, you'd have forever. artist named Susan Wingett and her horses are very very popular. She does a great job capturing the horse's face. They have a very soft friendly look to them and every year she expands the line a little more. So like this year's new pieces were the dip tray with the little spreader and then she did the little cheese plate here with the knife. All of our pajamas have been really popular this year with the pasture bedtime. guys um, are called Pony Cycle and you okay. actually so, yeah, so ride them, them like they're a horse. So if there is a child sitting on here, as they post like they're riding, the horse moves. 
too. Yeah, so this was their new one sizes. this year. The new one, he holds up to 90 pounds, okay. but honestly, we've had adults get on them, so they do hold more, <laughs> but they say 90 pounds. This is their new one. This one is actually a, their racehorse. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like yeah, a racehorse. Yeah, and what's nice about him is, like, you can take his saddle off, you can take this off, so you can kind of interact with him a little more, oh, nice. play with him, and take care of him. Buford bonnet, right? Yes. Yeah, so we I took a picture of custom made for us. Of course, I've got to point out that we have our upset and our Jim Dandy books, and these are available at both stores. And uh, Gretchen Tish did all the illustrations. I wrote them. Um, and she's and local also. She's right? a local artist. Yep, she owns Feathered Antler. And both stories are about overcoming the odds, even if you're not the favorite. We can talk more about that. When we can you get signed course. copies of Yep, these? so all of these um, are signed by Upset, our mini horse. Oh. He stamps in there. Oh, that's so and cute. then we have, um, they're signed, but we can also, you know, if you want it personalized, happy to do that. One thing that became very popular in 2020 was puzzles. So yes, they were so we hard have, to find. Yes, <laughs> so we have a bunch of puzzles. Uh, Briar came out with their own puzzle. There's the vintage horse stamps puzzle up there, oh, that's which so that's pretty. my favorite one right now. Yeah, and then of course just some dog and horse because horses and dogs go hand in hand. And then our actual custom ones that we did that are Saratoga. And the one here, that's the oh, beautiful. Saratoga vintage one. That one's actually a fundraiser for the Saratoga Historical Society. Oh, so 100% of that goes right to the Historical Society. So these I definitely wanted to point out. They're a great hostess gift. These are camp craft cocktails and they are everything that you need to infuse a alcohol of your choice yeah, a lot of people just use one. vodka because then it really absorbs the flavor but they are able to make eight servings at a time and you can use them twice so you can make a total of 16 oh, drinks wow. from them and you could just drink it straight after it's been infused or you could add it into another beverage so um, they do ones where you'd add them into hot cocoa you know you do a martini they do brunch punch so there's a whole bunch of different we usually have about six different flavors at a time so these are just a few hot toddy cranberry martini sangria and pumpkin smash so this um is a brand new one for them this year pumpkin right. smash another fun hostess gift for the holidays is these towels from french graffiti Yeah, so we do a few different ones with her. You know, we do year-round ones, like this one. You know, just represents downtown Saratoga. And, of course, we do horses with her as well. So, of course, we have to feature the peppermint pigs, Saratoga's Victorian tradition. The pigs are a solid peppermint pig. They come in a red box. These are Trishan. All of them do have the story about what the pig is and what it symbolizes. And then the bigger pig comes with his pouch and hammer and you put the pig inside of there and pass this around the table and hit the pig. And everyone talks about something that might've happened in the past year, but also something that they're looking forward to in the new year. And it's supposed to bring prosperity and good fortune in the upcoming year. The newest additions to the peppermint pig line are Tucker, the muddy pig. So he's a little pig that's been playing in dark chocolate and he has mud on him. And the company also came out with peppermint pig hot cocoa this uh, last year and we sold out of it in 2020. So we did get more in this year, but they are selling quickly. And this is peppermint.
so these are just two of the few different styles that the Saratoga water bottle glass jewelry comes in. This is a company called Peppermint Charms and she usually makes all of her jewelry out of old mason jars. And we sent her our blue glass bottles and she actually broke the bottles down and polished them up and made the different jewelry, different shapes. So every year we come out with a new Cat's Meow landmark piece that is custom made for the store. And every single one, the reason they're called Cat's Meow, will have a small black cat somewhere. Oh, Even I on the one that. that's down the stretch, there's a cat riding on the back of the horse there. <laughs> so every year we come out with a new one. This year's, uh, we kind of went with, just like with our ornaments, we went with the outdoor theme because of COVID and everything and people going to the state park. So the geyser spring there is oh, this okay. new one. Oh, so for... they each have their year yes. on them. Okay. Yeah. So every year we've come out with a new one since the 90s. Oh, so, the cottage. Yep, of course, uh, Santa's mm -hmm. cottage. Big, just big. And we last year we did blood, Saratoga Lake. Okay. And no, we've that. always had fun like doing it. This one, of course, no, like is close to us because not only is it our building, like blue, but we put, white, at the time, the we put the three dogs that we had at the white. time in the window, Aww. which is on our old office up there. So three of our dogs are there.